So it's 722 on Sunday, uh, January 4th. Got some beautiful light out there. I'm going to start right now. I'm um, just testing to see if any of this stuff is actually working. Maybe uh, it's 727. Uh, this is the first time I'm going to try to maybe record a little bit. Um, <clears throat> this is where usually where I start when I'm about to uh, test out my camera, test out my film, try out a new lens, just go out for a little morning walk. Uh, beautiful morning today. Um, really, really gorgeous. Wonderful light. A little bit of a walk around some mid-century Margate stuff as far as architecture. Yeah, so uh, some, some really nice light. I've got with me my uh, Kunika with the wonderful um, 50 millimeter AR. Uh, I still got a roll of film in here and I'm gonna maybe just take a shot at some of the light here. Yeah, really, really loving the light. Uh, it's about 7.32, still a couple, maybe about 10 minutes away before we get to the full start of uh, the morning golden hour. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, sometimes we'll play around with the shadows. So if you guys can see the kind of shadows of me taking the shot here, I'll take pictures of, uh, of that. It's kind of fun in black and white, you know? Right now I'm at F8 shooting with uh, FP4. Yeah, these are called breeze blocks. And there's a whole Facebook group of people from around the world, especially, you know, places like the shore or Vegas, Miami, South, where they, this was just such a thing in the 60s and late 50s to just do something a little bit more interesting. So yeah, just really, really loving the shadows here, you know? Loving the light, the quality of the light's wonderful. Cool. I'm crossing the street. This is a wonderful motel on my right. Uh, the wonderful thing about this place is they've kept the original rails, you know? So, this stuff, this is wonderful. The light fixtures, they're original. Uh, but unfortunately, they've decided to put in these floodlights. I love, I love, I love the morning light on this. Um, this motel, uh, and there's not too much left. As you can see, they, uh, you know, they got rid of the original railings. There really isn't too much left of this place, but I just love the way the light hits it. Uh, so yeah, this is one of my favorite places to take a shot. I'm gonna go take another shot. Going to the siding, you know what I mean? <laughs> Replacing the original stuff with this, all this plastic siding. Not exactly, uh, you know, bringing out the, the coolness of it, because this is a wonderfully cool motel, but it's just, you know, hey, let's put in lots of this plastic siding for railing and things like that. But yeah, the light is still fantastic. Also too, I'm very aware of like these lines, you know, and the parking, braking blocks there. Kind of throws off composition a little bit, but what are you gonna do? So yeah, again, it's uh, February 4th. Morning light is not hitting my favorite, favorite, favorite motel here. This is the one right here as I'm approaching it. This is the guy that's uh, got all the glory. Just such a lovely place. Also, it doesn't have the original 
uh, railings anymore. They kind of uh, lost that. Probably a little bit too early, maybe in about a half hour, uh, the light will, will pass the building, because right now the light is kind of being blocked by uh, my building. But yeah, I just really, really love, you know, the angles here, you know, it's, this kind of Jetsons, late 50s, you just want to grab your fresh Stratocaster. Pretty much what my morning walk tends to be. Uh, find as much mid-century stuff. Doesn't have to be motels. Just could be anything mid-century. You know, basically from like late 50s. I would say the cutoff. I go a little bit further. Cutoff would be the early 70s for me. Love the early 70s stuff. This is just such a wonderful place to shoot. Look at look at uh, just look at this motel stuff. The holiday, yeah. So uh, maybe I'll drop in an original postcard of this place. What it looked like, uh, it used to be pink, <laughs> at least yeah. in the postcard, that was the original color. But yeah, just a little bit too early uh, right now. Not getting the light, maybe on my way back, uh, we'll get, so I'll get a shot here. I'm gonna wait for light, that light, you know. So I'm turning down the next street. This is Madison Avenue. It's a morning light on the breeze blocks. And you know, this is a different pattern. The ones in my building, going for that more vertical look. This guy's going for the circles. Really classic, you know, and this stuff's all gonna be disappearing. <laughs> this next property is still possibly my all-time favorite because I can't, it's just, I don't know what the heck is going on. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is, seemingly i'm thinking early 70s and it's this guy and it's always hit by such beautiful morning light um what do you what do you think where do you think what 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 uh what decade do you think this was from so it's a it's a four no i guess it's a two unit building two store um maybe four yeah maybe, maybe four units i guess it to me this just reminds me of like early 70s or something you know, like I could just imagine somebody in there like playing Carol King's Tapestry, you know, James Taylor. <laughs> They've got a bean bag. I just love it. I love this place. Uh, love the way the light hits it. And again, as you can see, not so much breeze blocks, but it's like they took the idea of a breeze block and just decided, hey, yeah, let's just fill in the whole side of the building. <laughs> so super cool. A lot of cars are out here today. I would normally shoot this when there's not so many cars. Uh, but you know, I'll take a shot anyway. There's another one where I like to play around with uh, the light. You know, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely an older building. This is not a modern building. It's obviously going through a couple of configurations with the retail on the bottom, but yeah, older building, and I just love the way the light hits. This is one of my favorite places to play around. Often I'll go close, test out a lens, just find the, uh, find more of the, the grit and stuff, you know, for the, for the, for the, the lines. So yeah, I'm just sort of like looking at the lines. Um, and just finding textures, finding angles, just, again, just really love the light. It's, a, it's got that morning light hit perfectly. Um, or I'm just gonna, you know, go for the cliche kind of shadow thing. Another motel to my right that's been just chopped up so much. Uh, yeah, like, I don't know what's happened here. Not sure what happened there. But straight through, uh, there is the remnants of a really sweet classic motel. Uh, just, just such simplicity, you know? Simple, simple lines. Maybe I'll come back to that in just a little bit. But yeah, it's gonna go to Fry's Auto Repair. Yeah, quick shot here.
Nice car. Oh man, this is cool. Just little details, you know? Yeah, so this is another one. Um, this is what this place is called, the Casablanca. Uh, this one's gotten trickier and trickier to try to shoot. They've, uh, they've repainted it recently and not the greatest colors. <laughs> uh, as you can see, the original railings are gone. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's lost a bit of its charm. I'm sure with the original railings, it was way more interesting. Uh, the constant, you know, signage about don't park here. We're going to tow you. This place is under Hawkeye management. Um, I'm sure this motel looked so much better. Just understand I was afraid to be a simple guy. Pretty classic that I'm ending um, my my analog tour where my Kunika has has uh other I guess I can live without things that made my life. Oh there we go. <laughs> I think it's the cold. That's so funny. It just suddenly was like flaking out. Um, that's hilarious. So maybe if I just uh, rub it a little bit, I can warm up those batteries. Does it work? There we go. Cool, cool, cool.